If you're looking for something fun to do, why not use Google Sheets and to play this card game? Now, I patterned this after a popular card game that a lot of us play. And if you go here and make a copy, it can take a few minutes for it to fully load. And what you're going to see is this blank spreadsheet. But what you're looking for is where it says card game, which is the menu up at the top. Now the advantage to playing this in Google Sheets is the ability to play it even when you are not together. So like all Google products, you can click on the share button and share it with whoever you want to be playing it with. So click on the share button. Open up the settings and enter in the email address of who you want to play with. Then you're going to go to the card game menu up at the top and go to authorize. Now anything I've coded is going to give you an authorization required and I do not usually submit them to Google. So it's going to give you a warning screen that this has not been submitted to or authorized by Google because I didn't submit it to them. But it is safe, so go ahead and click continue. After you've authorized it, you are now ready to set up the game. So go back to the card menu, and we're going to do setup. And you'll see it's now set up with player one, player two, player three, and player four. And everybody is looking at the game board piece. So what you'll see is that all players are going to see the same card, but of course you don't want to see each other's cards. So if you're player one, you want to be on the player one tab, and player two will want to be on the player two tab. You do not have to have four players, you can have up to four players. So on your tab, so if I am player one, I'm going to go up to the card game, and I'm going to start with seven. So I'm going to click start with seven. And this is going to deal me seven random cards to get me started. And you'll notice that they are color coded. And then each person who is playing will need to authorize and start with seven. So player two would go to the player two tab, go up to card game, and they will also start with seven. Okay, and so then those are their cards. This is the starting card, and player one would go first. So player one needs to play either a red card or a one. And so I'm going to go ahead and check the checkbox next to this blue one. And under card game, I would play the card. And so now that's blue. The game board is blue. Player two, player three, and player four all see the same one. Now player three and player four, there is no player three and player, that's fine, just ignore them. Okay, so now it's player two's turn. Player two needs to play a blue or a one. So they has a blue two. So then checkbox next to their card, the blue two, and go up to card game and play the card. And so we can see that the last person played is player two and they played a blue two. Player one sees that they played a blue two, and the game board also shows that the card is a blue two. Okay, so then it's back to player one's turn. Player one needs to play a blue or a two. I have a two right here, and a checkbox that, and under card game, play the card. Okay, so we should see that they're all updated. Player two can see that it has updated and it is a yellow or a two. We're going to do draw four as the card that player two will play. And then player one is going to need to draw four. So if I go up to the card game menu and choose draw four, notice right now slots five, six, seven, and eight. Oops, there's a couple of them down there. Slots five, six, nine, and 10 is where those cards would go. So when I draw four, 
you can see that now all the way up until the 10 spot is filled like I was predicting. So I have drawn four cards. I drew four. We're back to player two's turn. Player two would have to say what color they are. And so they'll play their card.